from Pakistan to Panama, from the Pacific Palisades to Papua New Guinea. Welcome, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. And hey, if you wanted to learn exactly what the pros are doing, today is the episode to watch. We break down the new meta, and yes, there is a significant and I would say exciting change in the way the top players are attacking. We get to dig deep in today's episode, both into the strategies and into the numbers, all thanks because of the fact that today's video is brought to you by King of Avalon with over 50 million downloads and look at the rating in the store. Players are loving this game. If you're not playing it already, you are missing out. And it is so much more than tower defense, city building, legendary heroes, skills, governing the city, managing the territory, rescuing residents. You can play it in minutes, yet the strategy is so involved. The placement of your troops, the dragons, the heroes, exciting by yourself for hours, but better with friends. Join an alliance and enjoy the competition. Who can level up faster, skill up their heroes and dominate? Share strategies and amazing action. Download King of Avalon for free. The link is in the description and I will see you in the game. All right, so back to the Clash of Clans content. And yes, okay, I promised you awesome attacks. We paused the attack for that gentle message and we are going to be looking at, of course, yeah, okay, fine. There's still a lot of Lalo happening. Queen Charge, Sui Hero Lalo, but the big but is we have a brand new attack that has taken over the number one spot, even with Tribe Gaming. That's right, Tribe, known for their crushing attacks from the air, have been dominating with a brand new ground attack, and we will talk about that in just a moment. But if you want to see attacks like that and more, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You have notifications turned on, because also I can promise you the earliest and most accurate update information, including as soon as we hear any concrete details about the new Builder Hall changes in 2023. Also, a big shout out to those of you that have been using code Galadon. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. It is such an easy little act to do to support a creator before you make a purchase in any Supercell game. Remember, just use somebody's code. You don't have to use mine, but it's free money and it's just going to waste if you don't put somebody's code in that spot before you spend money in these games. Okay, so I've talked over most of this attack, but it's a Queen Charge Lalo. And let's be honest, if you wanted to see this attack broken down, there are probably dozens of videos on my channel alone that talk about it. Even at Town Hall 15, it really hasn't changed that much. But thankfully, we are seeing a slightly wider variety of attacks. Now, of course, each and every one of these attacks is going to be slightly different because you'll notice that not every player is going to be using the same sieges, the same pets, the same entry strategy, and that's what makes these attacks exciting even if we've seen a gazillion air three stars at Town Halls 14 and 15. Now that's not to say that air is not still the predominant attack strategy in the game. Overall, right now, air is more popular than ground. And that is simply because you are seeing a lot of different air attacks in addition to Lalo. Yes, we are seeing the resurgence of dragons of all kind. Now, we talked about Electro Dragons recently in a video. Make sure you check that one out. Right here, we've got Dragons and Dragon Riders. And this is exciting because the Dragon Rider, I feel like it's kind of like this forgotten troop. It's still pretty new to the game, but not that many players are using it. It's not the most underrated or underused unit. But yes, we are seeing more and more of this strategy. And it's not that different from, say, Electro Dragons in the entry, in the fact that you are using predominantly freeze and rage spells, and the funnel is the key to getting those dragons into the core. All of those things fall into place, and in fact, almost every attack we're watching today is focused on that funnel, that entry, getting big value from your heroes and making sure your units go where they can predictably be pathing to the town hall. And we are seeing a lot of three stars, but the good news is this. It does appear that the three star rate at Town Hall 15 is lower than it is at 14, but it's not critically low. It's not impossible to get a three star, although it is much harder for those of us who are average players, maybe, to grab a three star against a fully maxed out Town Hall 15. But then also remember how many average players 
we'll see a fully maxed out Town Hall 15 yet, and that is an asterisk that we have to keep in mind throughout today's video, and that is that Town Hall 15 is still brand spanking new, and there's just not that many maxed out bases. Average base strength, army strength, and base designs are all going to continue to evolve and change in the coming months, and by the time the 2023 World Championships roll around, I think that we will have a pretty set meta. In the meantime, yes, things are going to be fluid, and that's why it's good to know lots of different attack strategies. And let's get ready for the new, most popular attack strategy in Champion 1 in Clash of Clans, and that is none other than Super Bowlers. That is right. Mostly Queen Charge Super Bowler, the occasional Warden Walk Super Bowler, but yeah, the Super Bowlers are super strong, led with a couple of Ice Golems, I know we talked about those recently, a Jump Spell, a Good Funnel, and your Crushing Bases. Now, yes, I am going to get out there and copy these attack strategies and give it a try myself. We'll see how I do in Legend League. But also, remember, notice that if we watch three attacks, we're going to see three different Siege Machines being used. Lots of different strategies to get into the base, whether it involves invisibility, the blimp, the flame flinger, even right here, the log launcher, which is my favorite siege machine. All are being used to get major value out of the core and create a funnel that that archer queen will follow one way or the other. And then you complete your funnel with your barbarian king almost every single time everybody rolls in together and wipes out the core of the base. So yes, this isn't a video that's supposed to be specifically talking about the Super Bowler attack strategy, but I wanted to show you guys where it stands in the overall percentage of what players were using for Tribe Gaming and against Tribe Gaming in the last season of Champion 1 CWL. Queen Charge Super Bowler, 24% of all three stars, that's right, one quarter of all triples the entire season were from this attack strategy that we're watching right here on the screen. Now, you'll notice that yes, air still makes up the vast majority, and if you add up the numbers right here, it's nearly three quarters of all three stars coming from the air, but Queen Charge Lalo only accounts for 18% for the first time in over a year that attack strategy has been surpassed by a ground attack strategy. Next up, we saw 16% of three stars being Electro Dragons, E-Dragon spam, so you spam lovers that are out there or just E-Dragon lovers in general, Tom, I know you guys are excited to see that E-Dragons are once again a viable three star strategy at Town Hall 15. Then you've got Sui Hero Lalo, that's the heroes without healers. Of course, combine that, and I know there should be an asterisk here because Lalo would make up 32% and it would still be the number one attack strategy, but we had to focus on the ground because it's just fun to see something different happening. Then Dragons, Dragon Riders, we saw that in the second replay today, 10% of all three stars tied with Electro Titans, which we of course are dedicating an entire video to, so watch for that as well. 10% with Electro Titans, and then the other triples were 8%, and most of those were ground hybrids that involved Hog Riders, Miners, Bowlers, even Super Witches. But yeah, disappointingly, we did not see a lot of Queen Charge Hybrid recently. It doesn't mean it's not effective. You always have to focus on the base design and then come up with the best strategy to take it down. That's the meta right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And thank you, as always, Gallifam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there and make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galiton, Galiton, you say, what is the meta? Aren't you supposed to say, what is the Facebook? Hmm?